So guys, welcome back. So today we're going to help you for your assignment one. So please check your footage to my phone. Then if you can see your footage at all, press one on the footage to view it. Okay. So now we need to set project settings. So press S on your keyboard. Okay, so this will come up. So output format will be my video setting format, okay. So this is your frame range, like from 0 to 100 frame. So this video will be 51 frame. Okay. So hold on, give me a minute. Okay. Okay, so now the video is playing. So for this assignment, we need to do a roto. So press tap on the keyboard and type roto. Enter. Okay, so here got four input, BG, BG3, BG2, BG, and the mask. Okay, so, and this is the output. Okay, so BG, so the input need a source. So we need to connect the source to our video so that our roto will work. Okay, so double click the roto, then we can start to roto now. So we go to bezel 2. And start to do your roto. Remember, guys, your roto, please, please, not to do so much of dotted line like something like this, because every time you move, every frame that you move, you need to adjust one by one, so it will take a lot of time. So just minimize your your dots, okay, your points. Okay, so now we'll just do a rough one. Okay, so when you press A for your farm, okay, remember to connect. Connect your viewer to your roto. Just click your roto and press 1. Okay, now you can see your alpha channel. Okay, and then press A again to view back your video. Okay, so for roto, you do it to roto frame by frame or maybe 5 frame. For me, I will just roto every 10 frame. Okay, so I move to 10 frame. I move a bit. Okay, move. Okay, next 10 frame. I move a bit. Then 30 frame. Then I move a bit. Okay, so after you finish everything, you go in between of the frame and check. If your roto is clean, like something like this, it's not clean, so you have to move it in. Okay. So for roto, you need to move the whole whole part together, not by not by moving but uh the point one by one. Because if you do that, if you do the point one by one, your when you roto, the final result, the edge will be like like a jellyfish. Okay. So we don't want that to happen, so we do every 5 frame or 10 frame, okay? So, okay, so this is what I done for my roto. So you guys can do the same thing as me. Okay, so this is my roto. Okay. So guys, as you can see, this is... Let me unlock this first. Okay, as you guys see, this is all, all my roto. Hold on now. Okay. So as you can see, for roto, you need to roto part by part. Like the knee, the thigh, the leg the shoe, the hips, okay, the stomach, okay, the left hand, and then the hair, okay, and the face, the neck, and the cheek, okay, we need, for the hand, for the hand, you also need to roto 
part by part, like one finger and one finger by the time. Okay, because to get a good quality of photo. So this is what I done. Okay. So the next step is you press A to see our part channel. You get this. Ooh, nice. Okay. So as you can see, white is can see and black is cannot see. So now my roto is white. So it means that my background. It means that the the black color will be not able to see. Okay. So when you press A again, but you ask like, eh, why are the background still there? Yes, that's a good question. So now we need to add a node called Primalt, Primultiply. Okay, insert that, and, and you can see, boom, magic. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, you press A again, still got the alpha channel. Okay, remember. Okay, try to press D to hide the nodes D. Then press D again to on. On, off, on, off. Okay? Remember, D. Okay, so guys, I'm going to teach you how to roto the hair. So for hair, right? For hair, I will create a new roto for you to see. Okay. Okay, for this baby hair, you will start to roto just the edge of the hair, like the sharper edge of the hair. Okay, no need to no need to be so precise like this one strand of hair or that. No need. So just do a rough shape of the hair. Okay. You see at this point, uh, we don't need to care at all. Okay. So you just need to. Do a rough shape. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. For this side, you see like a lot of hair sticking up. So I just, I will just go to the core of the hair, like something here. Okay. Then something here. Then after that, close it. Okay. So after that, for hair, right, I want to retrieve this side of the detail. So I feather it. Can you see like this line with the point? Just drag it and feather it. Drag it and feather it. Okay. You also drag it and feather it a bit. A bit. Just a bit only. Not so much. Okay. So for this side, we just drag out a bit, a bit. Okay, that's all. Okay, so this is how you roto hair. Okay, then after when you print out, can you see now the edges is feathered? Okay, this is the result I want. So, okay, nice. So, okay, after this is done. Hold on now. Just a second. Okay. And now it's already working now. So yeah, hold on, hold on. Is something wrong? Okay, so let me redo again. Okay, so let me redo the hair again. Okay. So I will start to do the hair again. Just the core. Okay, just the core of the hair. Okay, if you guys want to pass forward the video, can, but this takes too long time. Okay, just do a rough shape. Okay, 
Let's do a large shape. Okay. Okay, so let's draw a rough shape. A rough shape. Then just form it to feather. That's why I thought it was all feather. Feather be in this light. Okay, feather. Okay, this point kind of shape. Okay, can feel a bit. And feather be. Okay, I'm done in my hair. So remember, after you finish one roto, remember to lock it or else when you do another roto, your other roto will start to move. Okay, this is how I wanted to do. So remember to lock. So click this to lock it. Okay. So when it's locked, it's a white, white color outline. Okay. So now I pre more it to cut away to remove away the background. Okay, so this what happen. Okay, so now we are done in Roto. Okay, so the next step will be adding the background in. So how can we add the background in? By finding the image online that you use. So this is what I use. This is what I use. So I drag it in and press one to view it. Okay, as you can see, the number of the res the resolution of the file is different because this is one thousand times six two five, and my video is two thousand seven hundred and thirty two times one thousand four hundred and forty. So it's two different size. So how can I change? This photo size to be same as this. So we need to use a node called reformat. Okay, reformat. Then after that, can you see this format option? Click it. And then go to your go to your ratio that you that you want. 2732 times 1440. Okay, correct. So now can you see? It's the same one. It's the same resolution. Okay? So now we need to merge this one and this one together. Okay, so we need to add a merge node. So the shortcut key of merge is M. M. Okay. So click on M. So we got four output. Again, same thing. A2, A, B, and a mask. Okay. So B stands for background and A is for foreground. So I want this baby to be in the foreground. So I connect my A to my baby, and this is my background, and I connect my B to my background. Okay, so when you click on merge and press one, you can see the baby is inside. Okay, easy. Okay, so so okay, I teach you some hacks of it. So when after you roto, okay, you look at your alpha channel and look at the edges it's too sharp so you want it to be like feather away off a bit then you go to your shape to feather a bit only a bit a bit only you can see the result is moving I just want a bit only okay and then like this okay okay can nice so I go back to my merge again so this is what you need to submit for your assignment one okay sorry about the head because that's how I never animate the head so bear with me okay okay this is how it look like okay so your roto is done so select everything Oh, okay, last thing. How are you going to color grade to match your background? Add a grade node by pressing G. Okay, connect it in. Okay, then as you can see, black point, white point. So, black point is to pull out the black point more. Okay, can you see? Okay, I don't let. So, white point is to pull up the white. Okay, it's easy. Okay, so now I want to use this multiply. 
So multiply is a good way to color grade in new uh, in nitro one, sorry. So you click on this color wheel here and choose the color that you want. You see. So I want to be more orangey, so and then this, then you press OK, see, you're done. So if you are in one more color grading mode, press C for color color correct and connect it here. Okay. So you can start to do like a tweak in, like I want more contrast, go out the contrast, I want to saturate a bit, and there it is. Okay. So okay, so your roto is done. So now we need to do some cleanup. So select everything, press tab, and type bad job. Okay. So this thing will come out. So a bad job will help you to make your sim easier to see, your, your viewer easier to see, like which node is which node. So this one I will name it as Roto. Roto, okay. So I can change the color of the box by clicking here, the gray color here. Click. I want my green color and press OK. Okay. As you can see, your font is so small. Then I'll just change your font size to like 15. Okay, okay. So the next step will be the breakdown. So the breakdown is quite easy. Just select everything again. Select the roto. Ah, sorry. Select everything again. Control C and Control B. Okay, sorry, I need to wait very long. Okay, so this will be our breakdown node. So now we need to connect this breakdown node into our main video. So add a merge node again. Remember, B is background, so we attach the B to the background and then number A for foreground. Okay. So after you finish your roto, so this is your roto. Okay. Double click your roto. Now on your RGBA by clicking here, click R G B. Okay. But now I don't want the alpha. Okay, so I close my alpha. Okay, now I close my alpha. So now it's time for you to color it. So go to each of your roto. You can see this color wheel below it. Double click it. Change to whatever color you want. Okay, like this. Just change to whatever color you prefer. take some time so okay I'm done okay so guys so after you finish Following your your roto, so now let's do the edges. Okay, so for edges, we need to use a node called edges. So tap edges. Okay, this is the node. So got two output, two input source and mask. So we need to connect the source to our roto, and you press one. Okay, this is online. Oh, this is what you want, right? Yes. So now I want to combine this one and this one together. So we need to use a merge node. Press M on the keyboard and connect it. So so B is here background and here is foreground. So you 
press one here. You can see it's black. Okay, normal. Don't panic. Don't panic. So double click your merge. Change your blend mode operation, aka blend mode to plus. Why I use plus is because I need to plus this edge and this roto color together. Okay, so this is the result I want to see. So now I want to make the color to be transparent. So for transparent, to make it transparent, we need a node called multiply. Multiply, okay. So connect our multiply node in between the roto and the merge. You know why? Because if I connect below the merge, it will fade out with the edges also. So that's what I learned to do. So after roto, it will fade out and then merge together with the edge. Okay, then we print out. Okay. So new so next one is like reading by the flow from top to bottom. So from the top my file roto then after that I change my opacity then after that, I merge it over to this thing then after that I print out. So from top to bottom every time. This is how you read the load. Okay. So for print out now we need to set to RGBA, then after that you just roll down the opacity. Yeah, man, it's okay to uncheck or check also again. Maybe something like this. Then after you go to your merge dot, can you see? Wow. Okay, so then let us see the final product. What does it look like? Oh. How come? How come you will get something like this, right? So don't panic, don't panic. So double click on your merge here. Okay, your merge here, and after you go to your A channel, A channel means that your A output, uh, A input, and then turn off your alpha channel. So because I don't need the alpha channel because for my for my color is just RGB. I got an alpha, but we don't need to use that. So we just use the RGB. So go to your merge, and enable alpha. So click on this, as you can see. Oh, bang! Is it? Is it working? So as you can see, mix is also like opacity. So if we go decrease over, means that we cannot see anything. So if you increase, it's one. Okay. So this is the result you want, right? But the color is too transparent. So you go back to your multiply, and then increase the transparency again. Okay. Okay, just be okay. So this is what you want. This is your background. So select everything. Tap back job. Okay, then this is our break down. So change the color that you like. Purple. Okay. Okay. This is your breakdown now. So you are most likely to be done. So this is your assignment one. And this is your breakdown. Okay. So if you want to tweet a bit after finish everything. So you hide your breakdown first. After that you want to tweet a bit like the final color correction. You can add the color correction node by pressing C and then merge it inside. Okay. Sorry about this. Add color correction node and then merge it inside. And then this. What happened? Don't worry, don't worry, don't panic because my B input, my alpha is gone. So I need to uncheck it again. Bang, okay, okay. Okay, so we can start to tweet the whole set. Wow, this is so nice. Oh, oh. Wait until, tweet a bit until what you want, okay. So after finish, just put a right. Just click on your viewport, press W, and your and this thing come out same sequence. So 
save as MOV or AVI once again. Okay, so press save and a write node come out. You can see a write node. So remember to connect your source input to your final node all the way at the bottom. Okay. So double click it. You can see all this format. Okay, this is a file save. Okay, remember to print multiply it. Okay. So you need to change to unprint multiply so you can start to press render. Okay? So thanks for listening.